Northwestern has a new president and we'll show you the events of that day. Natchitoches is a tourism town and we'll tell you about all of the upcoming events. Welcome to NSU News. I'm Sarah Gandy. And I'm Darian Powell. Thanks for joining us. Your NSU News starts now. Leading off our news today, Dr. James Henderson has been selected as the 18th president here at Northwestern. He will replace Dr. Randall Webb on January 1st. Cole Gentry gives us a look back at the day Dr. Henderson was selected and his press conference here at Northwestern. I move that we appoint Dr. James Henderson, president of Northwestern State University, effective January 1, 2015. Congratulations, Dr. Henderson. You have been selected to be the 18th president of the Northwest State University, and we also welcome Northwestern's new first lady, Ms. Tanya. We're humbled at this opportunity to engage this wonderful institution in a new relationship. It, is, uh, it has 130 years of rich tradition and heritage and its best days are yet to come. I think he's a visionary. You can tell he's a leader by what he's done at Bipsy. I think we're really going to be a great team working for Northwestern and for the entire community. I think that they're going to be a great addition to the Demon family. He brings so many new uh, innovative ideas. I think this is a very pivotal point for our future here as a community and as a university. I think we're going to have not only a great day today, but we've got a lot of great days to come with Dr. Henderson and Tanya as part of our family. It is a great week for Northwestern. When you go back to Saturday and the special win uh, at Louisiana Tech, how well our kids performed and how well our marching band performed. And then to follow up with this, it's a great day to be a graduate of Northwestern. I'm so excited for what the future holds for Northwestern under the leadership of Dr. Jim Henderson. so forward to working with the faculty and the staff and the leadership at Northwestern and the community of Natchitoches as we make Northwestern the premier regional university in the South. Mr. and Ms. NSU have been named, and they are Alexis Relaford of Natchitoches and Cody Whitaker of Winfield. Alexis and Cody were selected by the students of Northwestern State. The honor is one of the highest a Northwestern State student can receive and is based on academic achievement and involvement in campus activities. They were presented to the student body at last weekend's football game by Dr. Randall Webb and Mrs. Yana Posh. Early voting for the November 7th primary has already began, but you still have time to vote early if you wish. Early voting is open from now until October 28th from 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. at your local parish register's office. For information on early voting, visit your parish register of voters office or visit the websites listed. 
Employees from six different plants from three divisions of Weyerhaeuser in Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Arkansas participated in a training session led by Reliability Solutions using Northwestern State facilities last week. The program is part of an agreement in which NSU provides facilities and support for, real, for Reliability Solutions, a company that delivers training tailored to the specific needs of manufacturing companies. In exchange for the use of the facilities, NSU maintenance technician Kyle Rochelle is auditing the session as part of an understanding between the university and Reliability Solutions. This will help him and other professors at NSU to learn more ways of preparing our students for the workforce. For more information on this and other program in the Department of Engineering Technology, contact them at 318-357-6751. Okay, Courtney, so we were all surprised with that cool breeze this morning. Can you tell us what else is in store? Well, there may be a little showers this afternoon, mm -hmm. but I will definitely let you all know as soon as we return from break. While at Northwestern State University, I took advantage of a first-class curriculum, majoring in accounting and business. Outside the classroom, I soaked up the opportunities. President of the Student Senate, Mr. NSU. Today, I enjoy a successful career as a financial planner. I'm Greg O'Quinn, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University, and you can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. Good evening, Demons and Demon fans. I am Courtney Matthews with your NSU weather. As you can see here tonight, we have temperatures of a 69, humidity with a 48%, and winds are coming in northeast with two miles per hour. And that is our current conditions. As you can see, northern Louisiana has a nice breezy temperature in the high 60s. As we move lower in the southern region and southeast region of Louisiana, you kind of go into your low 70s, and New Orleans is hottest with 72. Our area radar, the skies are clear, not a whole lot of precipitation, but we can expect some tonight as we move forward. With our national radar, as you can see, definitely in the northeast region is definitely clear. Down here in the southern region is not much precipitation, like I said before. So you can go ahead and put away your umbrellas because fall is definitely greeting us with a big old smile. With our national satellite, we can see that it is cloudy in the southern region. Over here in the western region, it's definitely cloudy. They may have some rain, but we are definitely close coasting here in the south. As you can see, our temperatures with Baton Rouge is a nice 66, and Texas at San Antonio is 75, Dallas with a 68. We're moving up, and we see that Kansas City has a 64. So everywhere across the whole United States, we have a nice temperature. Everyone is welcoming the fall and winter season, and we are definitely ready for some switching over from rain boots into snow boots. Tonight we have a low of 50 degrees with uh, some clouds moving in. Tomorrow we have highs of 78, so it will warm up. It won't be as cool as it was today. And with our five-day forecast starting with tomorrow, thank God it's Friday, we have 78 degrees at its high with lows of 52. Uh, going into the weekend, we are clear with the sun with mid 80s and mid 50s as well. And then going into next week, we have some clouds with a nice low 80s with high 50s. And I am Courtney Matthews with your NSU weather. Here at the Louisiana Scholars College, education and excellence go hand in hand. We have unique courses that will prepare you for law, medicine, or graduate school. Please visit scholars.nsula.edu. Choosing a college is a big decision. I wanted to go somewhere where I could make new friends, get involved, and get prepared for my career. When I got on campus, I knew this was the place for me. That's why I'm proud to be a Northwestern State Dean.
been 150 years since the Union forces marched into downtown Natchitoches in the Battle of Natchitoches in 1864. The weekend of October 31st, you can watch a remarkable anniversary of this event with the reenactment of the battle happening in downtown Natchitoches. There will be 300 infantry who will battle across Front Street and a replica of a Union ironclad gunboat will float down Cane River Lake. Also, on Saturday evening, there will be an old-style South dance with a 12th Louisiana string band. The public is invited to participate. The Battle of Natchitoches Civil War reenactment is free and open to everyone. With the Battle of Natchitoches reenactment approaching quickly, Northwestern is giving students the opportunity to understand the cultural importance of reenactment, especially in a historically rich location, location such as this. The presentation will take place on Tuesday, October 28th in the Student Union Cane River Room at 7 p.m. and will be presented by the Louisiana Folklife Center. Reading on the River is an event to bring your little ones who love to read. Amanda Schultz of Leedsville and Jasmine Jenkins of Norfolk, Virginia, along with classmates at NSU, are helping to prepare. The event will be held in downtown Natchitoches on Sunday, November 2nd. Reading on the River is sponsored by the Service League of Natchitoches and is free of charge. For more information, contact Elizabeth Graves at 318-357-5065. This Saturday, Draw in Natchitoches will start on Front Street in downtown Natchitoches next to the fountain. In our class, Draw in Natchitoches will be offered through Northwestern State Office of Electronic and Continuing Education. Draw in Natchitoches is a beginning course in drawing and painting techniques. If you miss it this Saturday, don't worry. The class will be held three additional November meeting dates. For more information, including a list of supplies, call 318-357-5682. If you're a fan of all things vehicle, then you're in luck. The Northwestern ROTC program will be holding a car and bike show Saturday, November 8th in downtown Natchitoches. The event is free for residents. However, if you wish to show a vehicle, you must pay to enter your vehicle. For more information or to register, contact Elisa Smith at 318-357-5157 or email parker at nsula.edu. If you are looking for a great family event to do this Halloween, the City of Natchitoches and Main Street program will be sponsoring Which Way to Main Street and Ghoul School in downtown Natchitoches on Friday, October 31st from 5 to 7 p.m. Which Way to Main Street will take place on Front Street for children 12 and under to do some safe trick-or-treating with the local booths and businesses. The children must be in costume and accompanied by an adult. Ghoul School will be taking place downtown on the riverbank and is designed for older children to have their share in some spectacular games and events as well. Any businesses interested in participating in any one of these events can call the Natchitoches Main Street office at 318-352-2746 for more information. All right, Landon, so Northwestern had a big win over Sam Houston last weekend. Can you tell us more about it? Well, yes, ma'am. The Demons made quite the comeback in the fourth quarter, and hopefully they can ride this heat wave into this weekend's away game. I'll have all that more when we come back. After a year at one college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. That's when I heard about Northwestern State University's nursing program. I enrolled, learned from the best, and graduated with a four-year nursing degree. Now I'm helping save lives in a hospital surgical intensive care unit. I'm Kaylee Craven, a proud and successful graduate of Northwestern State University, and you can be too. Northwestern State University, students today, leaders tomorrow. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Landon Wright, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. Last Saturday, the Demon football team went up against 24th-ranked Sam Houston State Bearcats and pulled out a 
30 to 27 victory. The Demons were down by a staggering 14 points late in the first half, but scored two touchdowns to tie the score going into halftime. The Purple Swarm defense then held Sam Houston to 92 yards in the second half. And the offensive behind their O-line got the big win. NSU made its winning surge in the final eight minutes when Ed Egan caught a 33 yards off a kickoff return into the Bearcats territory, following by Zach Atkins' fourth touchdown pass, a 20-yarder to running back DeMar Lawrence with three minutes and 56 seconds left. Finally, the Demons added a 30-yard field goal by Chris Moore with one minute and 48 seconds left on the clock to secure the win. The Demons are now 4-3 and three overall and 2-1 and one in conference play. They have now set their sights on Central Arkansas, but Coach Jay Thomas says that UCA is no pushover. You got great receivers, great speed, got length out there that can outrun you, that can throw the deep ball. Um, they've hit a number of people with the uh, deep pass and run the power game very well. And, you know, that's... Uh, Coach Campbell's niche is the offensive line, and you can see the way those guys play and the way they block the intensity. So we're going to have a work cut out for us uh, to stop their run game, uh, power game, off tackle, and they got enough speed to hurt you outside. So we'll have to be very uh, sound there. And then defensively, very uh, long, active up front, uh, aggressive linebackers, secondary is very fast, uh, very similar to us in you know defense style, but typical Southland Conference defense, you know. Uh, flying to the football and playing extremely hard, very well coached. And then the uh, kicking game, they've been very solid, always have been, you know, uh, very solid there in the coverage teams and give you multiple looks and punt. And so we got our work cut, cut out for us and, you know, and, and getting prepared for this one. So I uh, just got to take it day by day right now. And, you know, and um, just, like I said before, just make sure we dotting our I's, crossing our T's and get ready for it. Kickoff for Saturday's away game versus UCA in Conway, Arkansas is set for 6 o'clock p.m. Following the Demons' big wins, two of the Demons, Tyler Roussel and Austin Douglas, received honors. Senior linebacker Roussel was named the Southland Conference Defensive Player of the Week, while senior center Douglas was awarded the Jack Clayton Memorial Scholarship for outstanding academic and athletic achievement. Tuesday night in Nacogdoches, Texas, the Lady Demon volleyball team sadly failed to undefeated Stephen F. Austin Lady Lumberjacks. The Demons did, however, hold SFA to their lowest hitting percentage in the conference slate at .171. NSU was led by junior Caitlin O'Connell and her nine kills, as well as junior Glenn Johnson with her four blocks and senior Emily Johnson with 14 assists. The team will return home to Prather Coliseum to take on Lamar tonight at 7 o'clock and, and Sam Houston on Saturday at 2 o'clock p.m. The Lady Demons hope to keep their undefeated streak at home alive. Finally, the Lady Demon softball team will be hosting their inaugural dinner and auction this Saturday night at 6 o'clock p.m. in the NSU Student Ballroom. The dinner is at $15 a plate in advance or $20 the night of. Earlier on on Saturday, they will be having the purple and white softball scrimmage at 11 o'clock a.m., followed by an alumni game at 1.30. A lunch will follow. So come on out for a day full of festivities with the Southland Conference Champions. And for all your Demon Sports coverage, make sure you go to NSUDemons.com to get recaps, schedules, and more from our wonderful sports and informational department. And that'll do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Landon Wright. Okay, Courtney, now let me know. I don't want to freeze this weekend, so what exactly can I be expecting? You will need a jacket, and you can pull out your boots and your scarves, but throughout the day, it does look sunny, so we should have no worries this weekend. All right, Landon, I know the Demon football team is traveling this weekend. Can you tell us one more time where they're going? They're going to Conway, Arkansas to take on UCA, and all that goes down at 6 o'clock p.m. on Saturday. And that's going to do it for this edition of NSU News. I'm Darian Powell. And I'm Sarah Gandy. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.